Hey everybody, I'm really sick today and I'm kind of behind on videos so I figured the one piece of content that I have right now is my new magnetic implant. As you can see, there's tiny two little stitches right here and it was done by Steve Hayworth. You can find him on Instagram, Steve underscore Hayworth. He's a very nice man and waited a very long time to have him do it because I know that he's one of the few people who are really experienced in the matter. Um, technically, you can get the magnetic implant done by any piercer or just do it yourself. I wouldn't recommend doing that. I wanted to have a professional do it because I didn't want to get an infection or anything. Um, overall, it was really painless and uh, Steve did a very good job icing it up and making sure that I wouldn't feel anything. And in case you're wondering, I'm getting a lot of questions, Mari, why would you get a magnet just shoved into your hand like that? Well, there's a few things that you can do. If you can hear me, I'm playing around with some screws. But you can have a bunch of stuff stick to your hand like this. You know. Or um, another thing you can do, once this is healed up, I'll be able to feel if something has an electric current going through it. So if I touch my computer my laptop I can feel my hand buzzing right now it hasn't healed enough for the nerves to not, not be in shock anymore that it just had a magnet shoved into my hand but I can kind of feel like something was weird going on in my hand when I put my hand up to my computer or my charger and that's about it but I can also feel oh no this is all stuck together like how magnetic um, fields so this one is polar charge opposite to the magnet in my hand, so it can be, you can see how big it is. I can feel how big it is according to where it is, and then the other one is opposite, so I can just stick to it. I think it's cool. A lot of people are like, why? That's really dumb, Mari. That's really weird. I'm like, everyone gets tattoos. Everyone gets piercings. Why can't I get something that's a little bit more invisible and to me has a little bit more fun to it? So I can do like little party tricks and stuff and be like, yeah, I'm just working on some uh, magic powers, you know. So I was, you can play with different things like my the chain to my necklace gets stuck and things like that. You can trick people. This one is a smaller magnet, so the size of its wave is smaller. I can put it closer to my hand. I can feel it. Um, this one could stick, but it's too, kind, of, kind of too heavy, so let's see if it'll... No, it's too heavy for my hand. Oh, there we go. It sticks. But I can put a few screws on. And also, you know, I build my own computers, and I fix my own computers, so... These are kind of way bigger than what a computer would have. But if you have tiny little screws, those little screws that you have, you can just stick them to your hand. In the meantime, while you're doing other things, like, oh, I have to undo this. Wow. Ta-da. Uh, let's see. What else can I stick to my hand right now? Does this stick? It does stick. It sticks. So you can do cool little bar tricks. They told me that, like, uh, for some MacBooks and stuff, you can just go up to people and like put your hand on where there's a magnetic center on if the MacBook is closed. So you can just like play a little trick on them, being like, "Ooh, I, I, let's go to sleep," and then everyone will freak out. But you didn't actually do anything to their computer; it just went to sleep. And um, a lot of people ask, "Will it wipe my credit cards? Will it wipe, wipe my electronics?" It's a very, very small magnet. It's very small powerful magnet it's not going to do any of those things the only thing it could possibly do is if you wipe your hand along the side of a magnetic key card your credit cards are going to be fine they're too strong for that um, your phone all your hard drives there's going to be there's going to be no problems with that you're going to be just fine and um, what other questions were there let's check they look cute um, do I look cute? I'm very sick. Do I look cute? Well, all right. 
uh, how much did it cost? It cost $350 plus tip. And some people say that's kind of expensive, but a good tattoo is like $800 at least. And I had been waiting for this for like three years to get it from Steve Hayworth because I wanted him to do it because he knows what he's doing. Uh, oh, can you bring your magnet in an, to an MRI? So Steve said that he's done two MRIs with it, and all he has to do is put his hand in ice because the MRI makes your hand makes the magnet vibrate really, really hard, and so it get, it'll get hot. So you just have to put your hand in ice. But who knows? Like if the technician is like, I don't know what you're talking about. Why is there a magnet in your hand? You can't do the MRI. That's that's a possibility that I've heard online, but he's done it several times. Um. This perception the best it could possibly be, like if it goes best as possible, I'll be able to feel like through walls or when I'm working on my computers, like, oh, did I forget to plug something in? Let me just like put my hand over this wire and see if it's live. Is it possible that the magnet you will stick to someone else's when you high five? It's possible if they're opposite polarities. Or if you flip them, because like you can flip it inside your hand if you do it a certain way. The guy, the assistant piercer was telling me about it. And honestly, I can see how that can work, because when I was playing with magnets, I could feel it like moving around. It hurts a little bit right now to do that, so I'm not going to mess with it. Um, I know that there is a piercing called like the lover's lock or something, so that if your partner has one in their hand and then you get one in yours and you hold hands they have it positioned so that they'll lock together when you're holding hands which I think is kinda cute in like a insane way let's see what else can you shoot lightning now are you fighting crime or doing crime I am doing crime but I cannot shoot lightning people ask me what my uh, superhero name would be I don't know, like, that's a lot of pressure, <laughs> like, to commit forever. I'm begging you, please elaborate as to how and why you have a magnet in you. Because it's cool. I get to have, like, a tiny little superpower. And according to scientists, from an article I can't remember, this is officially the first sixth sense. So, like, technically, I am an early prototype cyborg. This is the first, like, modified sixth sense that you can get there's other modifiers you can get about like sticking into your body to make it so that your body knows when it's facing due north but I hear it also like hurts the magnet and lessens the magnet's lifetime and stuff there's this article from this guy on the internet being like my magnet lost its power after five years but he like did like everything he could possibly do to drain the magnets like Magnets have a, like a, a certain amount of time before, like, they stop working, but it's, like, years and years and years, and he kept doing everything to drain it as much as possible, so that's on him. Uh, I don't know. If you guys have any other questions, let me know. I wonder if I'm missing anything. Let's see. Did I stick everything I could? Can I stick this pen to me? I can. <laughs> so you can do like little bar bets. They were telling me they get a lot of free rounds of drinks from bartenders by making bets. I don't know what kind of bets that they're making, but I'm not really much of a drinker. This is so fun to me. <laughs> Let me just like stick my hand in this. <laughs> this is like really cool to me. It's just like a tiny, tiny superpower. You know, you ever just be like, God, I wish I had, like, a cool superpower. But you can have one. Nothing's stopping you. You can do whatever you want. Now you can have a superpower. And so this is technically a body mod slash body hack. Body mods are when you, like, make yourself look different. A body hack is when you can make your body do something different. There's other body hacks. I think there's one where you can put eye drops in your eyes, but there's like a 50% chance that you go blind, so I'm not going to do that. Um, yeah, I'm, I just thought it was super cool. So if you have any questions or want to know more, ask in the comments below. 
Do you think it's dumb? Do you think it's cool? Um, this was done just like a few days ago and it doesn't really hurt that much and he only put two stitches in. Uh, like, and there's, there was barely any bruising. Like, I didn't feel any bruising at all. It was, like, just a little tender for a bit. So it's not a very invasive procedure. Uh, it's just right underneath the skin. He said that my skin separates from my flesh very easily. So if any of you out there are planning to murder me and take my skin, I'll have you know that my skin separates from my body very easily. Okay, bye.